What's going on Chemical Guys family and thanks so much for tuning in for another episode of Detail Garage. Now many of you who have been watching our channel know that we're not inside of the Detail Garage, we're actually in our back work area and that's because we've got a lot of construction and just a lot of things going on so bear with us with the noise and anything that's going on behind us but if you guys haven't already be sure to turn on your notifications and subscribe just so you guys know when we're coming out with new content and also drop your comments down below for anything you guys have questions about so we can get them answered or get them in the next video. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Today, we're working on this Jeep Compass, and although this is a relatively new vehicle, it gets driven a lot, which means that the engine bay has a lot of dust and dirt in there, which we're gonna show you how to quickly remove without using a lot of products. So already you can see that the car, it looks like it probably hasn't been touched in a while, but there's a lot of dust that has accumulated on the plastics as well as the cowl, and all the things you can really see because this is where it just gets trapped, and without detailing, it's just gonna stay there. So we're going to start by removing all of that using one of my favorite products, which is Nonsense. And this is safe for all of your engine bay components and all of your electrical components where it's not going to damage it or cause any kind of staining. Now to begin, we're going to work on the hood here and we're just going to remove any kind of splatter, any kind of dust. But also a lot of guys ask, what do you use to clean this felt liner? And I'm going to recommend not touching that at all because if that gets saturated or if it starts to sag, it'll not only discolor it, but it could also potentially degrade it where it would fall off or deteriorate. So we're just gonna avoid that. You can run a clean microfiber towel against it just to pick up any of that loose debris. But in the meantime, we're just gonna start by cleaning off the painted surfaces and then we can move on to the actual engine bay itself. Now, as I mentioned today, we're gonna be using Nonsense, which is a great all-purpose cleaner that again, can be used in your engine bay, anywhere around your vehicle essentially. And for today's job, since we're working with relatively light dust or a light duty job, we've diluted Nonsense 10 to one. And this is just a great way to remove grime, grease, dust and debris without using all of your product, being more efficient, but also being gentle on sensitive surfaces. So we're gonna start here on the inner side of the hood, just give it a light mist, and this will help to soften up any fingerprints, any kind of grease and dirt. We'll also spray the towel, and then we're just going to wipe away any of that mess to give your vehicle that overall better finish. Because even though this is an engine bay where not many people will see it, but you know it's there and I know it's there. So we're just going to wipe it away and make it look its best. Now already guys, just from a simple wipe down, the underside of the engine bay or the underside of the hood looks a lot better. And that's because we just pulled off a lot of that dust and dirt, which although it seems like a unnecessary step, it's actually still lingering on there and it's going to help improve the overall look of the engine bay as well as the whole entire vehicle. Because you wouldn't want to have a freshly washed vehicle and then pop the hood just to see that it's still dirty. So detailing is all about those fine minute things and this is one of those. So nonsense is a great way to remove all that dust. And I'll show you a quick trick on how to just clean this felt liner without causing a kind of staining or damage. So now using the other side of our clean microfiber towel and also some nonsense, we're just going to saturate this and then working in linear motions, just wiping away anything that's lingering on the surface, the dust or particles and messes that it clings to. And just wipe it away and it's also drying it at the same time so that there's not a heavy saturation which could cause sagging or deterioration. Because also I'm sure plenty of you guys are asking why we don't just rinse down the engine bay or that may work for your vehicle. But since this car only has light dust and a little bit of dirt, why create more work for yourself when we can just simply spray it and wipe it away? You see that light layer of dirt that was stuck to the surface of that felt pad. And now we can move on to the engine bay we're going to be using the same technique to remove the dust, the dirt, any kind of messes such as coolant or maybe windshield washer fluid, anything that's in the engine bay that could potentially have overflown. And we're just going to wipe it away to enhance the overall look of this engine bay. Now again, grabbing the nonsense, we're just going to start by spraying and saturating the dirt particles, any kind of grease and grime. And as we're working, there's a few things to keep in mind whenever you're working in an engine bay. 
There are plenty of hot surfaces and sharp surfaces. So one, be sure that the engine has sat and cooled down. This way you're not burning or potentially drying out the product that you're using. And then also, if there are exposed electrical components such as a alternator or maybe work on an older vehicle that has a carburetor, be sure to bag off and also just try to avoid saturating those areas where it could potentially cause some kind of damage. But on this newer vehicle where we have a lot of sealed electronics and a fuel injection, we don't really have to worry about any kind of thing like that. We're just going to spray the surface down with our nonsense and then start scrubbing and agitating to help lift off any kind of stubborn staining or messes. And again, nonsense is safe for virtually all surfaces, including your engine bay. You can use it on painted surfaces as well. I know a lot of guys ask if it is safe to use on paint and things like that, but yes, and especially since we're using it in a diluted form, it's just an easy way to clean away messes and revive that fresh look. And to assist us, we're gonna be using a boar's hair brush. We'll just saturate this as well for some cleaning power. And then start right here on the top of the engine cover. Working it back and forth cleaning off any logos and emblems. And that foaming action helps to lift off stubborn grease and grime. And also preps the surface for our next step, which is going to be dressing it to not only protect it, but also to make it look its best. After cleaning off the dirt and debris that was stuck in the engine bay and giving it time to dry, we're going to move on to the dressing process using black on black, which is perfectly safe for all of your engine bay components to restore a deep lustrous gloss while also adding protection to resist any kind of discoloration and fading. Now this is really easy to use and since we've already cleaned off the surface, it's perfectly prepped. We will start spraying it directly onto the plastics and rubber hoses in the engine bay. And this again will restore that deep lustrous finish giving you that glossier effect. And we'll just start spraying it liberally. And after a few moments, we'll come back with a clean micro towel and buff off any of the excess. have it guys. Black on black is a very easy way to not only restore that deep lustrous shine, but also add a layer of protection to all of your plastics and give you that beautiful look. Now after letting it sit for a few moments, we're going to use a clean microfiber towel and just wipe off any of the excess. This will give you that more natural finish while also working into areas you may have missed or evening out any high spots and giving you that dry to the touch finish so that it can last as long as possible. Now I'm going to continue wiping off the rest of this, but you can check out all of these products that you've seen in today's video on our website, chemicalguys.com or your local detail garage. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and also comment down below for anything you guys want to talk about or any questions you may have. And we'll see you guys next time.